Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. What does content marketing really look like? Now, content marketing is that strategic approach to marketing that actually emphasizes the creation and delivery of valuable content to attract, retain, and convert a clearly defined audience. I got a question for you. You might be listening to this podcast right now. And before we actually just jump into what it is we're going to be talking about today, I want to find out from you. Why do people come to the internet? Why do people actually click onto their Facebook? Why do people click on their Instagram? Why do people search on Google? Why do people actually come to the internet? Have you got an answer to that? Or have you ever stopped to think about that question? Just think about it. Because is it because they want to watch videos on YouTube? Or is it because they just want to chat to their friends on maybe Facebook that I mentioned earlier? Of course, people come to the internet maybe only for that. But a lot of people come to the internet for three distinct categories. They're coming for entertainment, they're coming for information, and they're coming for shopping. Now, even though people end up sharing cat videos or sharing memes or whatever it is, a whole lot of people are coming to the internet for information purposes. So, if you then become the person that's providing that information that they want, then they get to know you, like you, and trust you. And we all know that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust, right? So as I mentioned earlier on, if you're providing this information that is helping people to actually solve their problems and uh, make sense of the world around them, then they get to trust you a whole lot more. And this now increases all the chances that people uh, can, um, you know, purchase from you or buy from you. So your goal as a coach, consultant, or small business owner is to engage, then educate, and actually build relationships, um, you know, with your audience at multiple stages of your marketing funnel or your buyer's journey. And how do you do that? You do that by providing content. Now, there's a huge difference between content creation and actual content marketing, all right? So content and content marketing are not the same. And I'm going to be giving you 11, um, you know, ways for you to frame uh, these, uh, this, concept, this concept around your head. Because the term uh, content marketing is just, just getting thrown around a lot. But a lot of uh, discerning coaches, consultants, and small business owners, they actually know what's going on. A lot of things are getting labeled as content marketing, but they're far from it, okay? So on the internet, um, content is anything that expresses your thoughts, your information, and the experiences through maybe uh, written, visual, or audio format. So this actual podcast is content and so is the 95 million photos that are up uploaded on Instagram every single day. That is also content. Also that 500 um, hours worth of videos that is uploaded on YouTube every 60 seconds, that is also content. So the internet as we know it is built with content and it has always been it also means that everyone has content and everyone is creating content at any given moment. But as a coach, consultant, or small business owner, you need to be making sure that you are doing more of the creation than the consumption of content, okay? And that creates a lot of confusion when it comes to 
content creation versus content marketing. And a lot of the content is intended to maybe market your business, but that doesn't mean that, you know, the brand is doing uh, what we now call content marketing. And here's why I'm going to try and explain this and, um, uh, you know, get you to understand what I'm trying to say. So like I mentioned earlier on, content marketing is that strategic approach to marketing um, when you're emphasizing the creation and delivery of valuable content. And the active word around here is valuable, is what you are creating of value to the intended audience because we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we bring to the marketplace. So in other words, it's actually using content strategically so you can provide solutions to the problems that either, um, you know, your, your readers or your audience actually have and that your business is uh, designed to solve. So great ex examples of um, content can be, let's say you are a fitness coach, okay? And you start creating a community that encourages your subscribers or your audience to actually start sharing knowledge. That is content marketing. And let's say maybe you're a small business owner that is into home decor and you're that retailer that distributes a monthly magazine, uh, magazine um, that talks about minimalism and good housekeeping practices. This is where you now have content marketing at play. Or maybe you're a software as a service platform that uses maybe gamification to encourage users to discover and get to know its features. That is content marketing because you're using that in order for you to convey a message um, that will help people solve whatever problems they might be having, um, you know, in, 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 in their lives. Okay. And maybe you're a travel company that's using um, a, 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 an interactive website to hint on the experiences that you're offering, okay? Or you are giving people maps and directions and also reviews so that people can actually uh, not waste their time trying to figure out what's the best place to go to. Or maybe you're in, uh, coaching the health and wellness uh, space and you maybe, um, you know, have a health uh, supplement website that actually publishes vegan recipes so that people can actually uh, create nutritional uh, food around them. So do you, do you see the difference in just creating content for content's sake or creating content for actual content marketing? Because all of these efforts, you, um, you know, all of these efforts that you're doing, they will position you as an authority within your industry. Like we say, people are coming to the internet to get information. So for you to demonstrate your expertise in your topic, um, you know, over the long run, you need to cultivate trust within your audience by putting their needs and interests first, okay? Because a lot of people are creating businesses, aren't they? And uh, touting more about their features and, um, you know, uh, benefits of their product. but are you building a brand or are you just selling a commodity? How will you make people care about your uh, products and services, are they? Because even a four-year-old entrepreneur who puts out a, f a lemonade stand, they know that it doesn't matter how good your idea is if nobody knows about it. You got to put signs out there. You got to engage with the audience. And the only way you can engage with today's audience is by putting out content that is valuable out there. So it's no longer just enough to set up your store or your website or a podcast like this. And, you know, yet a lot of businesses are just operating like this. Okay. You need to cultivate your trust. Um, you know, the trust that your audience has in you by putting their needs um, and interests first. And how do you tell if you're doing it right? You know, if you're doing content marketing and not just content creation or just digital marketing, um, you are putting your audience first because these are the people that are now making the decisions to whether or not to buy from you or to patronize your business. Because if you if you're creating content that is not all about your features and benefits that puts your audience first, you you become customer focused. And 
not company focused. You're delivering helpful, valuable content and letting the customer decide when they can trust you enough to actually start purchasing from you. And half of the time when you're doing good content marketing, it actually links back to a business goal or a solution to a problem. You know, you've laid out how your content works together, you know, to further your own business goals by helping people, um, you know, your audience by actually helping them. And rarely, if ever, your content would actually be uh, promoting your brand or your business outright or your products. Yes, you might have call to actions here and there and they're great. But they aren't trying to push your readers to your me too commodity products that you're trying to sell to them immediately. And it actually encourages or attracts readers to your turf. Let's not forget that these people are coming to the internet to get that information in order to make sense of the world around them. So if you're building authority and providing your readers with a destination where they will keep returning, then obviously they will definitely be talking about your business at a barbecue or remarking your product um, because you're helping them make sense of the world around them. All right. And, and if you're doing content marketing right, it actually gets published consistently and continuously. All right. Because the more consistent you are, you actually start building trust and you're providing, um, you know, people with that sort of information that puts you um front of mind you know and you become an expert in a in whatever industry that you're in and you're no longer just like a one click wonder and at the end of the day if you're doing content marketing right you're actually measuring it and you're actually optimizing it so that it, it is moving you further and moving your audience further in um you know the customer journey and you can actually start identifying what people are resonating with and what's working you keep, what's not working you ditch and where you actually need to be improving in order to be relevant to the audience that you want to reach out to. You see, I'm a child of what was called a TV industrial complex. You know, we had, um, we had no telephone line when I was growing up, but we had a television and this television had three channels and no remote control. And, you know, our lives were literally slaughtered around the TV scheduling. I remember as a kid on Saturdays, you know, we in, in the morning, Saturdays began uh, when the cartoons came on. OK, and then the adverts w that we were watching at that time were seen as information and not interruption. But all of that has changed with the advent of pay, um, you know, you know, all these uh, Netflix and um, all these other on demand TV channels. You know, back in the time, um, adverts were the ones that taught us what we wanted. And we knew that, you know, when you wanted to take a break, you would have to have a Kit Kat. And that, you know, the, you know, that Cadbury uh, chocolate was one or I think it was called lunch bar, something much bigger than your hunger. Every time when I was hungry, I would just, you know, repeat that, um, you know, statement because that's what I was brought up around. But now it no longer is the same, um, you know, these days, because back in those days, a brand used to just be a logo and a marketing position. Whoever had the most money had you know, um, had an opportunity to tell their story. And these days, anyone with an opportunity to create a website and a business is now in front of an audience as long as you've identified your market and you've clarified your message. So in order for you to master content marketing, you must also master the types of content that your audience is actually, um, you know, um, engaged in right now. Because... High performing content is a central part to your actual content marketing strategy. And by the by the way you actually craft this and um, the way you present it to your audience will actually make or break your strategy. Because if you've identified your target market, you've clarified your message and you've determined the media in which it's easy for you to pass on that message, it will actually help you uh, start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So it's no longer just enough to simply create ebooks, uh, blogs, or catchy social media if it is not directed to an audience that is actually going to pay, stay, and refer um, with you, with, to you and 
above all, you are not providing information. You know, that is um, one thing that a lot of people are doing. They're just putting pictures of themselves out there on the internet, but not actually providing value. And guess what? People are catching on uh, to that, you know? Yet all content creation and being relevant is is the be it and end all that we need to be doing right now, you know? With all that content creation that we still have to do, it can be easy to actually lose your focus, okay? And I'm going to give you an overview of how you can use um, the main types of content in your content marketing. And, and, and you know, if, if you just want to know what these main types of content marketing are, first of all, you need to have a blog, all right? Make sure that blog is uh, optimized, um, you know, for SEO because that's one of the best way to actually boost your page ranks and make sure you're including a call to action and consider opening up the con comment section for further engagement because if people think or know they have access to you and can give you feedback, then you would actually know that your content is hitting the mark, okay? One other thing that you also can do and add uh, in order to increase your content marketing effort is case studies, all right? Case studies are a way to showcase uh, your expertise, and you can actually, um, you know, show social proof, okay? So when you illustrate your expertise by, um, you know, showing people how they can actually make use of what you're presenting, you are taking your readers on a journey, okay? And some people don't quite know what problems they are having or the problems they have or the solutions that are that are out there. But if you show, um, you know, social proof and case stories and case studies, um, you know, on, on your website, it actually illustrates your expertise and it showcases the solutions and, um you know, um, highlights the pain points that your customers or uh, audience might have. And one other thing that you can also have as content marketing is writing ebooks. Okay. So ebooks can also work as great lead magnets. We've got a really good ebook um, about the 10 little known secrets that will explode your service business with high ticket clients um, in just 90 days. If you haven't gotten your hands on this, just jump onto our website, www.livelongdigital.com.au forward slash report and get this great lead magnet. And you can also follow and copy the format that we use to create this lead magnet because when you create a magnetizing title like this, like 10 little known secrets, the one that we created, you're actually supplying information that people cannot find elsewhere. You literally are doing what I call helping people by actually helping them. And when you start providing value at this sort of level, people then obviously get to know you, like you, and trust you. And one other thing that you can actually start doing is, um, I'm guessing you're listening to this uh, podcast because you received it through an email that we would have sent out to you. Because if you write direct powerful, concise copy that contains information, um, you know, that can actually change your audience life, then obviously they're going to want to do business with you because you are solving the problems that they actually have. So emails are a direct line to your audience and you can actually build long lasting relationships when they're done well. You know, there's, um, <laughs> it's quite funny. I have an email uh, that I send out, well, it, it's, it gets sent out through an uh, autoresponder and it goes out maybe if somebody hasn't um, been in touch or responded or clicked on any of our emails in 30 days. And then it says, yep, we're breaking up with you. We've got this uh, mission of uh, taking away people who are not um, engaging with our emails uh, away from our um, mailing list. And I send it out every 30 days. The amount of people that are like, oh, sorry, sorry, we got busy, oh, we got caught out, um, you know, don't worry, I'll be participating in your emails because this is a way for you to actually move people along the buyer's journey uh, in such a way that you're providing and consistently giving them information that will help them make sense of the world around them. And that now becomes um, content marketing at its best, okay? And one thing that you should also uh, include in these emails is proper headlines. Because if you create powerful, compelling headlines that are not spammy or clickbait, 
it lets your readers know exactly what they're getting. And that's also a great way to convey your brand with language. Because half of the time, a lot of people just browse through uh, either an ebook or a landing page. And if you haven't put in really good headlines, um, you, you won't stop the scroll. All right, because that's the one thing that you absolutely want um, your customers to do, to stop scrolling and actually engage with your brand. And while they're searching for stuff on Google or online, you want to make sure your meta titles and descriptions are positively out there making you look good and stand out. Okay, so you want to put yourself in your reader's shoes and then let them know that you actually have the answers that they're searching for right now. Because people don't want to continuously scroll through uh, Google and find mediocre results. They want the exact answer that they're looking for, okay? And if you're selling products or uh, at a retail sort of level, make sure your product descriptions are also optimized with maybe keywords and they're actually describing the product in terms of benefits rather than uh, features. Because yes, you might have the best uh, product in town or you might have the best uh, solution but if people don't understand what it will do for them they're never going to click onto um, you know that product because your product descriptions are lacking the actual uh, benefits that they will get um, if they engage with your product then okay and while you're at it your social media posts should actually create an experience okay now this experience that I'm talking about is it puts them at the center and encourages engagement, all right? You are not just posting for the sake of posting. We really want our audience to engage with our content. And that's the reason why it's important for us to have identified who this target audience is right from the get-go. Because at the end of the day, I mean, obviously, the best marketer wins or every person who puts out content out there. But some Companies just simply focus on creating the best product before they even thought about how to actually engage with their audience. So you want to use social media in order to create that experience that people can have before they've actually engaged with your products and services. And this actually helps your audience connect with your brand emotionally and can actually help them find um, whatever pain points they might have because a lot of people are just scrolling and they don't quite know what it is that they're looking for up until you really grab them by the neck um, with your headlines or with your social media posts and you then um, give them an opportunity to gain value from your uh, products and services. Another way to use content um, for marketing is through your video scripts, okay? So these basically tell your brand story in an engaging format. Okay, and you can also include this script test um, text on, on, on the page to make your content much more accessible and you boost your SEO. So when you do videos, you can actually get them transcribed and use that content um, in order for Google or other search engines to be able to find your content out there. And last but not least, um, you, you might also have a website. You want to make... Um, show that your website is actually your prominent uh, base where you actually reside online and make sure you have enough calls to action in order to give people a purpose and a reason for them to do something with you and while you're on the website make sure you've got high quality images and you are actually crafting a powerful message because that's where um, most people are going to end up or start their journey, um, you know, of getting to know, like, and trust you. And if you do have time and you, you've got the team and expertise, write some white papers, okay? Especially if you're a consultant, because there's different um, ways that your, your audience is looking for information out there, okay? Explore relevant topics in depth and give your target audience ideas um, you know that they can apply in order to solve the problems in their daily lives okay so whatever you're going to be doing make sure that you are increasing your brand's presence on google and social media but you also don't want to consistently 
annoy your readers with irrelevant content. And maybe you'll be asking, how else can you get your brand in front of your readers? Okay. Blogging, like I've mentioned, you can start writing full topics that interest your readers. And a few things might come to mind, like say, how are you actually helping them uh, make sense of the world around them? Okay. So at any given moment, your content marketing actually skyrockets the engagement and boosts your sales. Okay. And we here at Live Long Digital um, will help you create content marketing that brings you more organic traffic through Google and social media shares, which then results in actual qualified leads. Because if you're just spraying and praying with your content out there, your words are what people hang on to. So you want to make sure that these words are actually boosting engagement and generating sales for your business. The choice of your words can have a massive impact on your audience and words can actually bring out emotions, feelings, inspire ideas and spark imagination and incite action. That's why it's important for you to get it right. And if you're just um, putting it out there and hoping that people will triple stumble and fall onto your content, hey, you might be missing out on, um, you know, an opportunities for you to be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So here at Live Long Digital, we offer content marketing strategies that actually drive more online traffic, uh, skyrocket your engagement and social media. And we also help you generate more sales while you are uh, helping the people that you need to be helping out the most, you know, and you might be asking yourself, ah, you know, you know, getting leads is difficult. And I can understand as a coach, consultant or uh, entrepreneur, marketing is just one aspect of running a business. You know, you got to hire uh, and manage new stuff. You got to balance your books. You got to drive growth and a whole lot more. And all of this feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in different uh, directions at once. Let some of the content do a lot of leverage for you. So like I've mentioned, you know, a proper content marketing strategy is actually an essential part of your online marketing. It actually helps you stand out from your competition. You develop your brand and you attract new customer, but writing content, you know, does these um, things and can, you know, be both difficult and time consuming. So that's why people skimp and actually start uh, you know, cutting corners, you know, because at the end of the day, your real goal is to just help your clients. You want to be spending as much time as possible changing people's lives. You want to be solving people's problems. You don't want to waste countless hours each week trying to navigate, um, you know, the complex world of online marketing and especially content marketing strategy. And you certainly don't want to spend yet another minute on the phone trying to beg people to hire your services because they don't quite understand what it is that you can do for them. Unfortunately, you don't have to, all right? Your content marketing will actually do all the heavy lifting for you, all right? If you put it all together, your blogs, your white papers, the headlines, all of that information will definitely help you stand out, um, you know, in your uh, marketing out there. So now that you know the difference between your content and content marketing, um, you know, in, um, you know, for you to have a business and scale your service business, I hope you now know that content marketing involves a lot more than just the content creation. And in fact, the emphasis isn't just about the creation at all, but crafting an experience that actually improves the lives of your audience. Like we said, you want to spend as much time as possible helping and changing the lives and solving people's problems. Okay. So if you're putting your audience first, you're addressing their pain points and you're actually producing exceptional quality content on a consistent basis, guess what? Then you'll grow your brand while you're actually cultivating authority and trust. And that, my friend, is content marketing. I can't wait to read and see your stuff online. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses 
and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.